I'm not gonna lie. I'm very cautious in how I'm going to approach this video. So bear with me. Luca here. Let's cook. Mr. Beast is a amazing enigma of a person. On one hand, he's doing things like funding the cleaning of our oceans and, you know, helping out with, with people who are struggling and living in poverty. And then on the other hand, he's hiring people who are pedophiles and then trying to hide the fact that they are pedophiles. Ha Bud, just don't work with pedophiles. You know? Just, just, just don't. That's it. That's, that's all you gotta do. It's pretty easy. Watch, I'll show you. I just didn't want to see it again. It's not that fucking hard. You find out someone's a pedophile. Listen, I have found out that three, 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 three friends that I've had growing up were pedophiles. One was a lesbian, one was a gay, and then one was a straight guy. Do with that what you will. You know you will. Actually, the gay guy pedoed on the straight guy, and then he pedoed on someone else. Go figure. I'm not friends with them. In fact, if I ever see them again, eh. <laughs> I just don't understand why it's so difficult. Is it because these people have a large fan base? Fuck it, man. I'd rather live in obscurity. Listen, in my previous video about Ron Williams, I was talking about Jack Black and his relationship with Kyle and how he sacrificed all that in Tenacious D just for shitty movies that make no money. I would rather live a life as Tenacious D than somebody who's in the garbage movies like Borderlands and Minecraft. Yeah, you're in big movies that make no money. You get paid, but you lost your best friend. You lost the respect of the people, the people who built you up over these years. I'd rather have the dignity than the money or the fame. That shit is fickle. We're all gonna die one day. What kind of stories will they tell about you? How will people remember you? It's important. Or at least it should be to you. Seems like some people these days, a lot of people these days, don't matter if they're remembered for being garbage, as long as they got what they want. As long as they got what theirs. But why? Is it so hard to do good to others? To do good for them? To do good with them? To find good people to be around? I did. I had a bad day recently. And it changed everything. Every single thing about my life changed. I'm in AA now. I don't drink. I don't even drink soda anymore. <laughs> that one's a little newer, the soda. It's only been about a week. God, I could really use an energy drink, I sort of. <laughs> but I haven't had alcohol. Tomorrow will be two months. Two months. If I can better myself, why can't any of you? Why do we have these people like Andrew Tate or Joe Rogan who are constantly wallowing around in filth and followed by people who should know better? The amount of times I hear people being like, oh yeah, Jordan Peterson, he's a guy to listen to. That dude doesn't even fucking believe in climate change or women's rights or the rights of the LGBTQ. What are you talking about? And then you'll turn on someone like Mark Hamill just because what, he's a liberal, a lifelong liberal? It always has been longer than you've been alive. And that's why I find someone like Mr. B so interesting. You could do so much good. You could truly be a hero. I've seen it before. People with a lot of pull, a lot of magnetism, a lot of charisma, a lot of connections, and they squander it. And for what? Money? The most fickle of things that could go away so quickly. How many I've seen rise and fall so very suddenly. And it gets funnier every time. 
Because you think at some point somebody will learn. Right? Right. I really don't have a lot of opinions on Mr. Beast. He has a weird smile. Awkward facial hair. Bad haircut. No real sense of riz. <laughs> I'm way too old to say that word, let's be real here. The green covers the gray. <laughs> but he makes me worried. Because there's a lot of young people who look up to him. And they want to be like him. I think you should want to be the best version of yourself. The version of yourself Mr. Rogers knew you could be. Even I try to use this for a better purpose now. Nobody cares about Harlan. <laughs> Nobody cares about some fat guy in glasses playing video games and talking about politics. But when you put on the makeup, people listen. Well, they lose their minds. But they listen. Find your voice, find your place, find your people, find where you can contribute to the world. Be of service and look for the helpers. There are always helpers.